zero in on Carolina is brought to you by Coca-Cola. Taste the feeling. Carolina football, I'm Taylor Vipolis. Today I'm joined by running back TJ Logan. TJ, how you doing today? Good, man. How y'all doing? Not bad. Uh, when you arrived at training camp this year, did it kind of hit you that this is your last year? Um, it definitely hit me. Um, walking in, usually I would show up with my mom and um, other people, but this year I just showed up by myself. Um, I was very, I was very focused when I showed up. Uh, I came in with a lot of guys, Des Lawrence, um, Dewan Drennan. Uh, we all showed up, and we just knew we was gonna be on the mission this year. You're taking this year like real serious. Do you feel it's important as a senior to step up as a leader? Um, definitely. You got a lot of young guys on the team that are actually getting playing time, and um, they look up to us and they look for us um, for comfort, just to show them what to do and what not to do on the field. So I feel like if we just show them the right way, we'll continue this culture on the team. From a maturity standpoint, you've really grown up as a player. How have you seen yourself grow over your uh, four years here? Um, definitely on the field, I feel like my patience has changed um, when I'm running the ball. Um, I feel like as a freshman, I would kind of hit it kind of fast and um, holes wouldn't be opening up. Um, but now I'm just kind of more patient. I'm just reading the blocks and I feel like it's working out. Coach Fedora is really high on you, saying that you give it your all every play, every time you're out on the field. How do you balance staying physically fit for, for game days and being at your peak four Saturdays. Just off the field, like getting in the treatment room, um, cold tubbing, hot tubbing, um, things like that. Um, I feel like the training staff does a great job just getting us ready for the games. Um, when I'm at home, I'm foam rolling. I'm getting kind of old, so things like that kind of help me out. You and Elijah, and then you could even throw in Chris Francis, you make up, you're probably one of the deepest position groups. How would you say you guys all fit together with all your different strengths? Um, I feel like we just work well off each other. Um, Elijah's going to go in there. He's going to bang a couple guys up. I'm going to come in there. I'm going to try to run around him, give him the speed. And Chris is like a great, he's like right between us. He's um, he's a great runner. He sees the field well as, um, as well. So um, we just go out there and we just try to make plays for the team and move the ball. A lot of people say that Elijah is the best kept secret in college football and they kind of overlook you. So what does that make you if Elijah is the best kept secret? Um, I don't really know if he's the best kept secret. I feel like I'm, I'm one of the best kept secrets too. Um, when I step on the field, I got a mindset that I'm, I'm the best. And I feel like as running backs, when either one of us is on the field, we have that same mindset. So, I mean, it's just a great thing. And one of my favorite things about you and with a lot of guys on this team is that you actually have your own song about you. So what can you tell me about that uh, Cash Million song? I think I'm TJ Logan. TJ Logan. TJ Logan. It, it kind of came out in high school. Um, a couple of guys I know from my high school, they played all the time. I kind of got annoyed with it just because they were playing so much. But um, they played it during training camp. Like we were out there practicing and it kind of kind of lit a couple guys up, but I mean, I appreciate it. Um, it's from Greensboro, so I got to. I'm running with it, yeah boy, I'm running with it. Like TJ Logan, they trying to get me. That's my city. Carolina, I do this for Carolina. Number eight, TJ Logan, shout out Mr. Carolina. You now have, after the Georgia game, you now have three kick returns in your career at uh, Carolina. What does it take to be a good returner with film prep, maybe just getting lucky sometimes? So what uh, what does it take? Um, I feel like with film prep, it's just watching guys, um, who they have on the kickoff team, whether it be um, DBs and linebackers. Um, and it also takes speed. Like, you can't be back there just dancing. You need to hit it and go because you don't have that much time. And when you get to the kicker, just, just don't get tackled by the kicker. That's the only thing I can say. The Georgia game really wasn't, I wouldn't call it a breakout game, but it was like, uh, let me reintroduce myself. What went so well in that game for you? I know it was your birthday. Did that have you a little more fired up? Uh, definitely. Anytime you get um, extra things that make you want to do something crazy, I feel like that was it. Um, we ran a couple plays that we hadn't ran in a while, I feel like, and um, they were just definitely working. Um, the outside zones were kind of getting to them. Um, and I feel like our tempo also was pushing them and got them kind of tired of the D-line. And the receivers were making great blocks down the field, so I feel like that played a big part. And your kick return won a car for a Tar Heel fan. 
what was that like when you heard about that? It was kind of crazy. Um, I, I, uh, I know whoever got it appreciates it, but uh, I just want some tires or something. That'd be <laughs> nice. Just something, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's it. And uh, what can Tar Heel fans expect the rest of the year from you and the team as a whole? Um, just a different team. Um, we lost the first one last year against South Carolina. It kind of hurt, but um, we bounced back, and I feel like this is the same thing that's going to happen this year. We're going to work every day in practice like we've been doing, and um, we're just going to try to get these wins for them.